So, uh, uh, Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter every single day at 2 p.m. We live stream on weekdays and tell you how I feel it's being ran. And today I'm very excited to be talking about Radlands, the game you will take with you through the apocalypse from Roxley Games. Uh, this is currently number two on the popularity chart on games, not just tabletop games, but games, period. It's already raised 171,000 Canadian uh, in like one or two days. Very impressive, considering this, from what I found on Board Game Geek, is actually a two-player 10 to 30 minute card game, which was not what I was expecting. But before we get into that, if you're enjoying the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm hoping to hit 9,000 subscribers to celebrate my nine year anniversary this year of making board game content. So, wowzers, Radland, super deluxe, uh, very basic beginning image, kind of like the intriguing. They're going for the intriguing, they want you to click on it. So, I'm, I'm going to guess this is a banger. So, I'm always looking for three things Do I want it? Can you do it? And how much is it? If you answer all three of those in a video, you get a cookie. The following video games animated violence. Oh, cool. Cool. All it took was a second. A single moment. What? <laughs> We thought if we hit hard enough, they'd go back home. But there's no home left. Okay, this is hot, uh, and I never thought I'd say, what would happen if I combined uh, dancing, you know, like dance music, with board games, with steampunk, and Roxley Games is answering it, and... I don't know if I like this video, but it's very stylish, and I feel like most people are going to like it. But but I'm excited to see what's because there's still this is two and a half more minutes of this. Is it going to continue at this pace? I feel like it can't could possibly continue at this pace for another two and a half minutes. Exterminator. Okay, so I have seen a few other videos who have gone with this tactic of having incredibly catchy music, like something, and for that video it was actually really distracting, the, the old one, not this one, I, don't, I didn't feel distracted, I feel like they did a perfect job of putting in just enough clips of both gameplay and animation and banging music and things moving things, but at the same time they were telling me enough, they gave me a feel for what the game is, oh there's going to be these unique characters, they're going to go around the wasteland, they can, you know, they can attack in different rows, like this guy can knock out this whole row, this, guy, this person can blow up this thing, that sort of thing, so I feel like they did just enough telling the rules. Now, I'm curious what the last two minutes are. Radlands is a competitive and intense dueling game created by former Magic the Gathering external developer, Daniel Peachnik. Oh, there you go. There you go. And I, they've raised, okay, so I want to start by saying this. They have raised a ton of money and they're number two in games. But I honestly, I, I would mention that even more. The fact that I had to wait a minute and 36 seconds to find out that this was from the creator of Magic, or one of the creators of Magic, I think is not a good choice, personally. I mean, I see the immense success here, but I don't. I, I played Magic for a smidge. I'm not a Magic fan. This doesn't wow me. I'm not like, oh my gosh, Magic creator. But there are people out here, they say, oh, this is designed by the guy who made Magic. I'm in. Period. End of the discussion. I don't care what the price is. I don't care what this is. Uh, splunk it in. So uh, the fact that you got to wait for the minute 36 mark, I'd mention that somewhere else. <laughs> because how many people are not getting to this point? How many people saw the video and they're in? It is best described as a card game about identifying and exploiting fiercely powerful card synergies. Radlands is extremely... 
I love the fact that they're using words. They're synergies. Are you going to say synergies if you're marketing this as a Walmart or a Target game? Heck no. They know who their market is, and they're going for their market hard here, and I love it. Elegant from both the component and game design perspective. Elegant. Oh, elegant game design. Once again, when I think of Target or Walmart, do I think elegant game design? No, I do not. I, you know, so I love the buzzwords they're using. Now the deck of text minimal cards and a short... Text minimal... Ah, oh, so good! But do not let the game's level of elegance fool you. Oh, the big box harnesses the player mats and the game. Interesting. Interesting. As Radlands provides one of the highest strategic depth to complexity ratios our team has ever experienced. After two years of polishing, our development team is still completely addicted to Radlands. Every match still offers us a fresh and intense storyline. As we... I love how they highlighted just the simple getting out of the box. It was an experience. It was a thing. You know, uh, they did... They, they, oh, so much well done in this video. They continue to uncover new strategies and card synergies we've never seen before. You begin by choosing a set of three game-breaking camp cards. <laughs> <laughs> they did not! They did not! They said game-breaking! Yes! Yes! Game-breaking is generally a terrible word to hear. However, there are some games where it's just... It's, that's the game. Just all the parts feel game-breaking because they're all super powerful. And I feel like there's not enough games like that, to be quite frank. I love when I feel super powerful. Like, towards the end of King of Tokyo, when I've got, like, four or five cards and I'm just, you know, I'm crazy powerful. I love that feeling. Most of the time you lose that game of King of Tokyo because you spent too much time focusing on the cards. But still, I love the sensation. Uh, so I really like what they're going with here. Most precious resource is water, which you will use to play people and event cards. Water also activates the abilities of your people many of which will combo in insane ways with the camps they protect. Each turn you will advance powerful event cards that you play, which when triggered, can completely change the outcome of a battle. Cards can also be discarded for their junk effect to clutch the victory. Destroy all three of your opponent's camps to proclaim your people as the Alpha Tribe. With so much to explore, Radlands gives the experience of a huge, expandable card game in a form factor that your game shelf can actually handle. <laughs> Proper service to this incredible game design. We are offering a deluxe edition featuring a function first magnetically sealed box, 12 beautiful backgammon style painted wood uh. discs, two decks of nearly indestructible and happily <laughs> satisfying. Oh my movies. gosh, stop it! Stop it! Go back! What was that? First magnetically sealed oh, box, so, oh, so pretty. 12 beautiful backgammon style painted water discs, two decks of nearly indestructible no and happy. Look at that! How deep is he gonna go? No! What is that made of? That's magic! I don't. I'm giving this a zero because this is witchcraft. This is this is that's how. How is that card? Now I want him to. See, I I really wish they did show it come back though. Satisfying synthetic cards. Because is that the same card? Because that was a cutaway shot. If that's if that really is the same card, I feel like getting. I feel like you should just let it un. I don't know. But either way, that was impressive. You can also upgrade your pledge to the super deluxe edition. Which includes Radlands Deluxe and two neoprene okay. playmats, all together in a special edition box. Thank you for helping make Radlands the game you will take with you through the apocalypse. Okay. Great video. Great video there. Uh, my three big questions. Do I want it? I think you did a spectacular job. Check mark. Great. Can you do it? I believe. Uh, you have not told me about any of your past games, but... Uh, just how professional and well done that video did and seeing the prototypes and seeing the advanced prototypes and stuff like that, it makes me feel more comfortable. I'm sure, you know, this is not your first created and it's going to be, yep, yeah, seven created. So immediately I feel comfortable. Can you do it? Yes. So I hope you do not beat around the bush and you hit me with the price right now. Cause I have a feeling I'm going to hate this price. I have a feeling I'm going to loathe this price based on one comment I saw someone make on board game geek, but we will get into the price, but hit me with it early. Pull the bandaid off. 7 created, 158 back. Look at that. That's what I always tell people. This 158 back, that looks amazing. Doesn't it? It looks so good. Anybody can do that. Go back 158 things as a game designer and boom, you look like a major member of the community. Now, if you want to save yourself some money, highly unethical, but what you could do is back 158 things that are clearly going to fail. It still shows you at $158 and you didn't spend a freaking penny. 
Yeah, if you use that trick, you better click on that subscribe button, because it's a good one. All right, anywho, <laughs> break the system. I should back, oh, this is so bad, I should back a million things. Steampunk Frost Rally, yep, I'm seeing successful. A Santorini, Rass, Dice Throne. And so if I didn't recognize Roxley Games, I'm now incredibly comfortable. I love Dice Thrones. The new version of Brass was very impressive. Uh, I've not played the other ones, but very, so immediately... Incredibly comfortable, so just hit me with the price, Roxley. Do it. Do it. Don't beat around the bush here. Two to players, 20 to 40 minutes. BGG says 10 to 30. My apologies on that. The game contains animated blah blah, how to play. Nope, don't want this. Don't want this. I just watched the video. Most people I feel like are going to watch the video when it comes to the price. Now, I know I can go over here. I know I can go to the right, but I don't want to go over the right. Really? Now, that's interesting. You took uh, what appears like a green... Maybe you edited it out, and you put him in there around that. That's that's some nice... I really like that. Let's check out the quote. I'm always a judge of quotes. Radlands is fantastic. Great start. It's a fast-paced, strategically depth two-player card game that will easily stay in my collection for a long, long time. There was a reason... Uh, I put this on one of my top 10 most anticipated games of 2021. Excellent quote. Spectacular and from a big name. And I will say, Man vs. Meeple, a lot of time you see Man vs. Meeple and you're like, mm, you know, it's more of the preview type thing. But when you can get opinions out and you still have the Man vs. Meeple name, I think that's I think that's the best thing you can get. Uh, all right. Neoprene mat. Cool. I know all about this. Redundancy here. There we go. $40. Just pull off the bandit a little bit earlier next time. I think. I feel like this... I feel like that should be highlighted. Uh, $40. So $50 Canadian. And I love this. I say this all the time. 50% of Kickstarter. 50% of the people who use Kickstarter are from the United States of America last time I checked. Uh, and I'm not saying that in a condescending way or anything. I'm saying that in a purely factual way. And they have appealed to half right there. And then they also have the Canadian down there. Great. Back this Kickstarter now to get the deluxe edition of Bradlands featuring a function first magnetic box, beautiful backgammon style things. Uh, and then we're getting in here. All right. Roxley Games Kickstarter page is often mentioned as one of the example pages. Look to see how our Kickstarter page has to be done. I see that so far. Because right now, they have given me a 20 to 40 minute game. And they are asking me, a two-player game, to pay $40 for it. That's a big ask. I think nine out of ten times, I'm like, really? 120 cards and you're asking me for that? But the fact that I haven't kicked, you know, kicked, the fact that I'm still here and not thinking it's crazy says a lot. They're, they're wowing me with everything else. Look at this. This looks great. I'm sure if I wanted to learn how to play this game, I could read all this and I would probably thoroughly know how to play the game, which is spectacular. 20 events, understanding advanced cards, advancing events. Great. We know the components are great. And I understand. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's the picture I want. That's, you did a cutaway shot, and a cutaway shot makes it look like you're hiding something. That picture right there, I would take that little gif, or jif, or whatever the hell you want to call it, plop it in there, get rid of what you got, and put that in there, where I clearly see the card going back to its beautiful shape, because that, wowzers, that makes me start to say, you know what, $40, it's reasonable. Look at that, $40, reasonable. I feel like that's what this whole Kickstarter is. How high could we have this goal and have it succeed? And I feel like they, they hit it. Uh, this is the upgrade. $20 for the upgrade. And this is where I don't like things. Because I feel like part of the reason why the price tag is so dang expensive on, that, on the base pledge is because of the whale. Which I'm assuming it's going to be a nice clean system over here. $1, $50, and then the whale. Yep. That's it. Oh, wait, no, no, no. What is this? This is just the game. Is this add-ons? Wait, the deluxe edition and all revealed content. Okay, so this is add-ons. And I say this all the time. I love this. Make it clean. This is clean. I understand absolutely everything here. Pledge free out without a reward or get the game. And then if I want to get the add-ons, I can get the add-ons. I like how they did that. I do like how they did that. Too many people muddy the waters. They did not. Excellent. But I do feel like you're paying a premium price for the game partially because you're getting a discount here because twenty dollars for these two big mats and this big box you got to factor in that's oh wait oh but they're shipping as well so let's get to the shipping hopefully you get to the shipping next awesome why back now i'm fine with this here looks good limited edition monitoring early delivery be nice if you told me what it was september excellent for essen there is an essen 
Uh, oh, that's a... Oh, no, actually, that could be an Origins release, because December is... September is Origins. Crazy shipping. Here we go. Yes! Beautiful, Roxley! I agree with you. Thank you, Liberation Game, for mentioning that, because I, I, I see so much of what I love here. You hit me. You wowed me with the video. Get to the price. Get to the shipping, because that's all I need to know. I feel comfortable with the game, and I like the fact that the videos are going to be down here. Shipping zones. China, Hong Kong, Macau, USA. So they got some big ones here. Shipping will be charged after the game ends. This allows us to reduce the cost. What is the shipping? Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Now that being said, uh, you still have the dollar amount there. I guess that's the easiest way to do it because you've got a whole bunch, but yes. So we're looking at $8, the Deluxe and the Super Deluxe. Where is the Super Deluxe? Is there a Super Deluxe? Slightly confusing there. So Super Deluxe is if I get the add-ons. Okay. So, but this is the hazmat upgrade. Is this the Super Deluxe? I'm assuming this is the Super Deluxe. That's a little bit confusing. You call it the Super Deluxe in the shipping area, and I say, well, well, well what's the Super Deluxe? Because I have the hazmat suit. I bought the hazmat suit with the add-on. That's the Super Deluxe, right? Is there something that I'm missing? Now I'm like, where's the Super Deluxe? Is the Super Deluxe down here? I'm looking, and I'm confused. I'm scared, and I'm alone, and I go back primal. Hmm, don't let that happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's the Super Deluxe? I, I, would, I would clean this up, but I would say uh, base plus hazmat uh, plus the hazmat. Hazmat upgrade. Because I'm assuming that has to be the Super Deluxe. But is there is there Super Deluxe anywhere in here? I can't look it up because this is all fancy. Uh, there's no text on this, which is another tr tr trick. There's like no text here. These are all images, which uh, really is an intriguing choice. Because it looks so good, and that's part of the reason why it looks so good. Normally, if you're typing it in, you have to conform to certain laws and rules that you can do in the type box, but not when you're making your own. Uh, so let's get back over here. What is the Super Deluxe? That's the hazmat upgrade. This has to be the Super Deluxe. Confusing. Uh, other notes. Timeline. Great. <laughs> looks good. Manufacturing complete. Team. Yeah, a lot of people. Kickstarter video. Excellent job. Excellent job. Maybe they haven't revealed the Super Deluxe. Ooh, King Fat. Interesting point. They don't mention it yet. <laughs> or maybe do mention it and get get people excited. Uh, I, I don't know. But the fact that we are speculating on what it is is not good. It should be very obvious. Will you be publishing the rule book and more information about how to play? Yes. Excellent. Excellent. That's the one thing that I'm missing here. I want a rule booklet. Absolutely I want a rule booklet. You did such a great job that I, I, that I, I missed it. You bamboozled me. We will. It's not quite ready yet. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, 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 no. I don't like this. This is a red flag. You know, I haven't had, I see, yes, you have a rule book. Don't tell me you got, you don't have a rule book. There's a rule book. There is a, maybe it's, maybe it looks like garbage. Maybe it's scrapped together. Maybe it's written on a piece of paper. But there's some sort of rule booklet somewhere. At least throw us a bone. Hi, guys. To clarify, the Super Deluxe is, in fact, the upgrade with the hazmats taking notes. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, uh, but, because <laughs> you don't want people to be like, oh, is there going to be something cool? Is there going to be, like, a new thing? And they're like, oh, no. Uh, can I get one other punch and still get access to Pledge Manager? Excellent question. I assume yes. Games and shipping prices specifically for our supporters who pledge for a full game during the Kickstarter. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. A lot of people, that's a great thing to have in the FAQ. Because a lot of people just assume that. I had just assumed that, so that's excellent to have there. Uh, adding Roxley projects? Yes. Can I order more than one? This is good. FAQ looks popping. I bet they got a lot of the FAQ from, uh, we'll be out there in a few days. Excellent to hear the, the rule book will be out there in a few days. Uh, but I bet they're getting the FAQ straight from the comments. And if you are running a Kickstarter campaign and you are not updating your FAQ every time someone asks you a, a comment, you should be doing that. Because that's exactly what it's for. It's like, hey, I'm in Australia. Does, you know, whatever. So pump for this. Is there any chance of some phone desktop wallpapers with the great art, perhaps, as a stretch goal? Oh my goodness, Richard Mahalan has just given you a spectacular idea that's probably not that hard to do. I mean... Uh, take some of your artwork, see if you could format it into a special size, bada boom, bada bing, you got yourself a super backer who's happy because, yeah, I totally like it. Hey, there's me, tickling the algorithms for you. All right, Benj Twasson, I want to pledge for two copies, but there's only, an to, there's only an option to add a copy of the hazmat upgrade. How do I add a copy for the game? Also, the publish rate for the shipping is per copy, or will I save on shipping for multiple copies? These are excellent questions about an hour ago, which hopefully go into the FAQ. Awesome. On it. There could be an option to add more water tokens to have more available for other games. Make an add-on pack of the base game. Ooh. Extra components? <clears throat> interesting. I'd respond to it, but that's it. That's interesting. Well, that'd be uh, okay. But I see, I see you responding. I see, yeah. 
This is what I should see. I should see person, creator, person, creator, person, creator. Uh, I also hope you're not doing the, that all by yourself. I doubt it because I think there's a, some other people collaborating. But, yeah, in particular, one thing I always mention is <clears throat> if people are actually working for the company, be like, hey, you mind you mind maybe messing with your sleep schedule just a little bit? Just stay up like an extra three or four hours a night. Uh, you know, little things like that to, to get more active comments. Because here's the one thing. Right now, you are number two, and that is spectacular. But how are you going to keep people engaged? That's the big question. It's that, it's you know, you get the spike, and then you get whew, this. And I didn't see stretch goals. I didn't see stretch goals. I didn't see daily unlocks, and that's fine. I don't have an issue with that. But that tells me that we're still going to need to see... Most of the team are occupied with juggling a lot. Oh, absolutely. I completely understand. Uh, but you got to realize, customers. You know, customers, customers, customers. And I was really bad at that. So, yeah. So, what is the plan to keep people coming back to this game? That is the real question. Without upgrades, without stretch goals, um, contests... Uh, because here's the thing. Yeah, I don't see any stretch goals at all. Maybe I would have the next update be announcing a stretch goal. And maybe the stretch goal is something simple like unlocking those wallpapers or something like that. But uh, I don't know because it looks like you have made this game as nice as it is. And it's coming out in September. I get the impression that you don't want to add anything to this game, which I completely understand. But is there something else that can be added on the side as an add-on that is not going to impact, you know, the game in any way, shape, or form? That's the real question. And I don't know what tricks you might have up your sleeve. Uh, but that's going to be the real interesting thing here. So I want to start making a prediction. Oh, so 0, 1, 2, uh, back it for the whale is a 2, uh, come back in the last 48 hours is a 1, and 0 is uh, don't back it at all. And with this one, I, I feel like I've bamboozled, because I'm about to recommend a small card game to you and spend $40 on it, but it looks really cool. And I feel like they did everything. Just like I have no doubt in my mind this is probably going to be a really well done game. So I'm going to give it a 1. Now I'd go with the 2. I'd want the play mat. If you're going to spend it, spend it. So I'd go with the 2. It, it, Roxley Games has earned the very prestigious, I don't hand out too many of these, two on Radlands. I think it's a very well-run Kickstarter, nice and clean. Uh, I do worry about how it's going to do in the middle, though. Uh, I'd also highlight the fact that a Magic Creator made it. But there you go. That is Radlands from Roxley Games. If it looks like it might be a cup of tea, be sure to check out that Kickstarter link down below. Also, if you're not subscribed and you're doing what I'm doing, please click on that subscribe so I can hit 9,000 subscribers for my nine-year anniversary. It's an incredibly ambitious goal. Highly unlikely to happen, but I'm shooting for the stars here. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Oh, no. What did I click? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, my gosh. Don't look at my tube buddy. Tube buddy, get off my end stream button. <laughs>